Hi people, this is Chris for Drums Bonedo. Welcome back to a new video. Today I have another mid-range set as a guest. The Yamaha Stage Custom Birch in a standard configuration. Find out what it is capable of and if it is worth buying. So stay tuned. I last reviewed the Yamaha Stage Custom Birch in the Bob configuration. Even then I was very impressed with the build quality and especially the sound. Today's kit is a standard configuration, which means it has more universal shell sizes that are more in demand for rock and pop or backbeat related music in general. The kit consists of a 22 by 17 bass drum, 10 by 7 and 12 by 8 rack toms and a 16 by 15 floor tom. Also included is a 14 by 5.5 snare. The shells have 6 plies that are 7.2 mm thick. Here in the macro view you can see the slight counter cut from the outer edge. That means the head contact edge is shifted slightly inward. The set has painted shells in a deep blue sunburst finish, which is one of the three new colors for 2023. The finish is very well done and looks great at least to my taste in real life and also through the camera. However, the shells are not sealed on the inside, also the insides of the bass drum hoops feel very natural to me. Here I would rework if it was my personal kit. The Stage Custom Birch is available either as a shell set plus hardware pack or as a pure shell set. I have the latter here today. The Yamaha hardware you see here in the video is from the 600 and 700 series and belongs to one of my personal life sets. Yamaha Germany also sent me an FP 9500 single pedal for this test. This machine runs really smooth and has a rich punch with a duo kick beater. But back to the kit. The kit comes with a sturdy double tom holder with the famous ball joints, which is simply mounted on the bass drum. Memory locks are attached to all important points. In combination with the flexible tom arms and the yes system on the small toms, this is very practical because, for example, you can easily retune the resonant head by simply turning the drum over without having to take it off. The hoops on the toms and the snare are 1.5 mm triple flange tubes and the heads Remo UT better heads and Remo UC resonant heads are also rather inexpensive. The three legs on the floor tom have spikes which means they anchor into the carpet. But like the robustly built telescoping legs on the bass drum they don't retract so you should be a little careful when handling them. So enough talk. Let's hear how the whole thing sounds in the factory configuration. The set sounds surprisingly dynamic and precise, especially the tight, well-matched sounds of the toms please me very much. The bass drum sounds quite warm with an unported resonant head, but I think with a ported head you can get much more out of it. The snare drum still has the well-known detuning problem with rim shots. I already fitted the screws with Tama hold tight washers before recording, which made it better. For the second take I put Evans Onyx heads on the toms, these are two ply models. The snare now has an UV1 better head and the bass drum has an EQ3 as a resonant head.
So, here comes my conclusion. All in all, I must admit that I'm very excited about the set. For 849 euros, there's probably no better value for money. If you're serious about getting started with not too big of a monetary investment, or if you are an, an experienced player looking for a life kit, you can't go wrong with the Stage Custom Birch. There are much more expensive sets out there that do not sound better in comparison, especially when you upgrade the heads on the toms and the snare of the Stage Custom Birch. What I also like, if you want to expand your set later, there are many Stage Custom Birch single drums available. So if you would like to have an 8 or an additional 13 inch rack tom, or another 14 inch floor tom, or a smaller 18 inch bass drum, no problem. Sure, at some points you already noticed that this is not a high end set. Especially on the snare drum, you can see the thin hoop and the formerly mentioned problem that it quickly goes out of tune with rim shots. Also, the snare beds are not cut very elegantly, so I would probably take another snare with me on stage. However, with the branded head and a detune accessory like the lug locks, it is possible to work with it. Especially in high tunings, it has a nice crack. I also like the fact that Yamaha uses here in large parts the official hardware, which was also used on other high-end kits in the past. But of course, the heads of the toms are also not made for eternity. Here you definitely have to invest. But otherwise, the kit at that price is virtually a no-brainer. What do you think? Would you take the Stage Custom Birch on stage? Write it in the comments. So, that's it for today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and also feel free to write a comment. You can find the purchase links to this kit and also to the pedal in the description below. So, I hope to see you next time. Until then, bye!